Hello, I am Jason Devich, one of the operations section chiefs with the Alaska Black Incident Management Team. Happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. I'm here to provide you with your operational briefing on June 20th, 2021 of the Haystack Fire. I'm going to go a little bit about the vicinity and some of our concerns and where we're talking about and then uh, drill in to the fire specifically and give you an update on accomplishments and our plan for today. We're about 18 miles north of Fairbanks. In between the Steese Highway to the east and to the west is the Elliott Highway. Logistically, this is a roadside fire, but operationally, this is a remote fire requiring aviation assets to insert food, logistics, supplies, and also firefighting resources, such as hand crews and firefighters. Uh, last night, the fire was able to receive approximately one half inch of rain, so one half inch of rain, which is really gonna help minimize fire activity and smoke in the area today. We have a community down here, the Haystack subdivision. This is our, our primary concern with uh, several residents and approximately 100 structures out there. We're capturing down here, we're getting good risk assessments, uh, structure assessments done, along with making a, a positive connection uh, with the residents of Haystack. And that has been going extremely well. On the north end, yesterday a lot of uh, really good work was done up here on the northern side. Uh, we were able to secure from here to about up here, uh, a third of the north side was secured, which means 10 feet we have direct line construction and mopping in 10 feet. Uh, hopefully today we're going to accomplish another third and uh, I think we're on track. We're going to get another hand crew up there today, the Yukon crew, working alongside with the Upper Tananaw crew, and uh, we're gonna get some really good work up there and using that uh, moisture we got last night. Moving around to the east side of the fire, uh, we have uh, Wainema Hot Shots are working this chunk of ground, uh, securing the line as well and, and doing direct hand line construction. Down here below, yesterday they were able to tie in two miles of saw line and bring in hose with it. That is a significant accomplishment uh, in steep, uh, arduous terrain out there. So really good work, two miles of uh, secured line. And again, secured line 10 feet in. Down here on the heel, this is a significant challenge to us today, even with last night's rain. Uh, the duff layer down there is 12 inches and burning 12 inches deep. That takes considerable effort and resources to secure this piece along Caribou Creek. On the west side of the fire, we have Dozer Line, and then they were, about, uh, they were able to secure 50% of uh, this chunk of ground yesterday with goals today to achieve 100% uh, 10 feet for, uh, to this old fuel rake all the way back to the heel. So that should be another really solid accomplishment for today. For other resources today, for here, we are getting the North Star crew in uh, to replace the Tanana Chiefs crew, uh, which have been uh, busy uh, for the last 14 days, committed to this fire and others across the state. So they're gonna go home and get some needed rest and be back later this week. Well, thank you. Uh, th this is your operational briefing for today. We will be back with you tomorrow. And again, just uh, the overall strategic intent of this fire is 100% uh, suppression.